Leicester City 5, Manchester United 3. What's going on YouTube? Curtis here for a review of Leicester City versus United at the King Power Stadium. Yes, you did hear right. United 3, Leicester City 5. It was a complete thrashing in the end. Hell, it was one hell of a mauling in that second half. It was just complete in utter embarrassment. But in saying that, that's my opinion from the get-go. It wasn't that bad. I'm not that upset. I don't know why. Normally from heavy, heavy defeats, I'm really pissed off, really down. But for this game, for some reason, I was not pissed off as usual. Uh, I thought we played incredibly, incredibly well. Mate, we played very well. We defended like shit, but very, extremely, extremely unlucky today, lads. But anyways, guys, let's get to the game. Mate, we came out the blocks. One matter was dropped. Van Hal dropped one matter. Played Rooney in the cam. Uh, stuck Falcao up front, which we all thought was going to happen. But uh, it came to fruition today. Rooney played in the cam, and uh, I'll tell you what, the opening uh, 15 minutes, we were sublime. I thought we were playing well. Uh, Di Maria put in a through ball to Robert Van Persie. Robert Van Persie had a shot, saved by Cash for Smichael. But uh, and not long after that, we had Falcao on the wing, ripped Richie Delat in an open world of space out there. Mate, was dribbling the ball, and one of the best crosses you'll see from a player with his opposite foot this season, Falcao. Pinpointed Robin Van Persie. Let's be honest, Robin Van Persie couldn't miss from there. Slight deflection. We go ahead 1 0. Happy days. We look scary as hell. Now, not even two minutes after that, De Maria picks up the ball in his own half, dribbles about three or four players, makes a 1 2 with Rooney, gets the ball back, and chips the keeper a little flick, dink over the keeper, and Kasper Smuggle had his hands on his hips before the ball even hit the back of the net. 2-0 in one of the greatest goals I have ever seen. Sublime teamwork there. That chip was just absolutely world class. One of the best chips I have ever seen. 2-0 up, and I'm thinking to myself, geez, how easy is this? Now again, not even two minutes after that, Vardy ripped Rojo a new one, caught ball watching, easily out muscled. Vardy whipped it into Loa and mate, bang, what a header. 2-1, game back on, De Gea had no hope. Now that was shit defending from Rojo. Someone of his size should never be out muscled by someone like Vardy, who made beautiful cross to Loa. Mate, what can you say? Game on. So about half an hour into the game, we had Johnny Evans, who's just come back from injury, get re-injured, and Chris Smalling, another player coming back from injury, to replace him. So we had Tyler Blackett, we had Chris Smalling in the center of defense. You knew it was just gonna be a struggle. You knew at some stage, we're just gonna have a lapse. So halftime came, lads, 2-1, going into the break. I thought we had heaps of optimism. We look like we're gonna come back out and score a few more, and so it happens. Right after halftime, we had Raphael running down the wing, getting around the back, putting a beautiful cross, and you just, it was such a great ball. You just knew this was gonna end up as a goal, but Kasper Smichael pushed it back out, came to Van Persie, found Di Maria, mate, found Ander Herrera, and another beautiful one. World class flick went past Kasper Michael 3 1. And you're thinking to yourself at this point, geez, how many are we going to score today? Four, five, six? It was that kind of day at that point. Then on the hour mark came the most controversial decision you will see all season. Rafael Vardy running down the wing, head to head, and Vardy, the ball was bouncing in front of them. Vardy not even looking at the ball gives a hip and shoulder that just nudges Raphael right out the contest, didn't care about the ball whatsoever, mate, just took him out the way, Raphael's gone down in a heap, clear foul, I don't care what sport you freaking play, that is a foul every day of the week, Vardy sees the balls just stayed in play, gone and got the ball, Raphael gets back up, Raphael in the softest, now I'm talking this guy was just manhandled to the floor five seconds before this. Mate, puts a finger on Vardy's shoulder. Klattenberg points to the spot. Are you kidding me? That right there was the worst decision you will see all freaking season. Not a penalty at all. No penalty whatsoever. 
But saying that, Clattenburg gave it, Nugent stepped up, beat the hay out. 3-2, Leicester are back in this game and it's game on. And literally, literally not long after that, I'm talking like 60 seconds here, roughly around there. Mate, Cambiasso storms through the box, very lucky with the bounces, but mate, we gave him so much room, it wasn't even funny. We're talking about premiership defending here, not rocket science here. Cambiasso puts his laces through it, three or Leicester are officially back in the game. It's game on at this point, and Rooney, rightly so, goes off his nuts. Went ballistic at all the defenders, not even defenders, everyone. Mate, Ander Herrera, mate, Tyler Blackett Smalling, he went off at everybody. So at 3 0, we're right in this game. Goals is what we can do, it's defending where we're shite at. But anyways guys, I'm very confident at this stage. But Van Hal did something which I don't blame him. He took off Falcao and he took off Di Maria. Fair enough, if they're not fit enough, they're not fit enough. You need to bring players on that are fit and can run this game out. So what does he do? He brings on one matter, the man he dropped for this game. So I'm thinking, right, one matter has got a point to prove. My word, one matter, fresh off the bench, Mate, gets completely bulldozed by Vardy. Oh, I think it was Vardy, one of the Leicester players anyways. Mate, lost the ball in a crucial, crucial point of the game. Mate, Leicester City went on through. Vardy, one-on-one -on -one with the hair. Boom, Leicester, four, three. Easy as you like. They just scored three goals in five minutes. Unbelievable stuff at the King Power Stadium. I'm just sat at home thinking, Wow, has that is, is that, is that just really happened? Oh my God, I just could not believe what was happening. And to be fair to Vardy, one on one of the hair, cool as a cucumber, what a finish. And rightly so, they should be ahead. Rightly so, absolutely dog shite defending. And another thing I wanna add about that goal as well to Vardy, one on one of the hair, who was the closest United player to catching him? Mate, it was Wayne Rooney. A lot of people talking about Wayne Rooney, oh, you know, he's the captain, he doesn't lead by example. Mate, today he was colossal, working up and down the pitch, working ever so hard. He was the he was out running black at Smalling, the closest player to catching Vardy. One thing you can never doubt about Wayne Rooney is his effort. Always given 110% for the club. Absolutely fantastic, mate. They're the players you need. Captain. Rightly so, rightly so. So again, not long after that happened, another foul by Vardy. This time, a blatant push into Tyler Blackett. Again, not even looking at the football. Football's up there, Blackett's there, he's looking that way, he goes and nudges him, pushes under, under the ball, Clattenburg doesn't say foul. And again, he goes one-on-one -on -one into the uh, box. Tyler Blackett takes him down, gets a red card, it's 4-3 and Leicester have a penalty and I'm thinking at this stage, fuck me, is this actually happening? Yoawa steps up, buries it, De Gea dived the right way, 5-3 to Leicester. So the game finished 5-3, Mark Twattenberg blew the full time whistle and uh, at this point I'm thinking at the end of the game, Normally, normally, I'm just down on myself. I'm just gutted, especially when we lose. But this game, I was just, for some reason, don't ask me why, I was just upbeat. I thought we played well. We look colossal in that first half. We look amazing. I'm thinking, shit, the way we're playing today, we look like Chelsea or City. We look like Premier League champions going about our business. You never seen, oh, I, sh I should say, you always can tell that when a key refereeing mistake can change the outlook on a game. Man, it was more, never, never more evident today than uh, Mark Clatten Twattenberg Mate, gave that penalty to Leicester. Should have gave the foul to Raphael. Didn't. Gave the penalty to Leicester. 5-3 to Leicester. Mate, referee. I don't like blaming, refer uh, blaming referees for mistakes because, you know, you just look like a sore, lo uh, sore loser. But, mate, it was never, never, never more evident than today. Clear, clear, clear cut foul to Raphael. Changed the whole outlook on this game. Still doesn't change the, uh, how shit or how shite our defensive we really need to tighten up at the back. Hopefully Van Hal can sort that out in training. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting week uh, for United to see how we go about it, how we come out 
up against uh, West Ham at Old Trafford next week. I'm pretty sure it's at Old Trafford. Kudos to Leicester. They deserve to victory, but it wasn't that bad for United in my opinion. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook to see my footballing opinions. Uh, hit that subs uh, subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what I say. But anyways, lads, on to the West Ham game. I can't wait for that. Anyways, lads, take care and peace.